Hi guys, it's Ice Warfare here, and I'm back with creating my save file. So today we are making a wedding venue, more exactly a old style, sort of gothic-y um, church. Um, because they kind of fixed the My Wedding Stories, I don't think that pack will ever, ever, ever be fixed, because it's so buggy as hell. Um, yeah, I've been gone for a while. I did make a post a while ago, but since there's no audio, because I was just that down the guts, the gutter, um, I kind of left it as so um i failed um my finals become a child care educator and i have to redo the exam all over again and i have to wait another year thank you switzerland for being so fun and um i also found out um that six percent of the people failed so this is more of a problem on the education system pretty much failing i think all of those who were during COVID pretty much working and not and having a lot of people lost because I'll be honest I did change companies during as well in my last year during the whole pandemic my um person responsible for my apprenticeship kind of was never there uh, I can tell she always had her favorites and yeah I really didn't like her and let's kind of like go over topping and let's go back to safe file well, as you can see, I'm right now working on the church, kind of like interior, because I did want to give like this very old style church and like a very like old European style church. Um, it's on a 30 by 30 lot, and I hate the gallery because it put on the wrong way. And um, I kind of wanted to use like um, the new pack with all like the wedding stories pack in the vampires and also college living because I thought it would be probably good to use those packs. And as you see here, I'm like fiddling around with everything. Also, I started building this before wearables came out, so I didn't like have wearables at this point in time, so I just pretty much like um didn't have wearables and I have the wearables pack. I it's my second it kinda of bumped up wearable it kinda of like bumped down spellcasters for me and my cult rating to um three and wearables are number two because of the lore. It kind of combines all of them. The only reason why I'm saying I do not like um, the, uh, well, where else more than vampires, because yet again, I know the theory, I know the theory is like, the theory meter is good, but I feel like vampires, they still have more gameplay than the werewolves because like pretty much you had to do the same things over and over and over again the werewolves which could be fun for a little bit but um when you're trying to um make i don't know market territories to get your level up higher and higher and higher and sometimes the fury is a bit annoying but it's worth it it makes you like like frustrated it try makes you try and get things going well and I love that it's a challenge at least compared to like, I don't know, the other ones. I kind of feel like EA dipped low on spellcasters. They just did. The trailer concepts, yeah. The course, the three mate, the three heads of the magic. Perfect. I would love the course have a potions alchemy head as well there and I think it would be perfect and I think if they would have tied in more better Minerva Charm like probably being like a very older spellcaster she does have the mentor thing in the spellcaster sort of like booklet compared to you know the rest I thought I thought like theory wise better if um, Minerva was an ex head and she retired after her death I went over this on my occult rating stuff and pack in game pack ratings you can follow that video on my channel. It's a bit old. It doesn't have werewolves. It doesn't have my stories. Because it was filmed, I think, a year before uh, it came out. Pretty much, um, as we're getting close here, I did try and make sure that it looks enough, like, old schooly. And again, you can see me using the vampire pack a lot in this. Like, of course, we have, like, a bathroom, pretty much. And if you guys like, are wondering, how did you do this? Um, there's a lovely um, person on Instagram who uploads Sim 4 floor plans, which I have been taking, like using it to kind of help me build my save. 
Um, I will, of course, um, show their I, their Instagram tag over here. They haven't helped me like get better with floor plans and stuff. But again, it's just the floor plans. They don't like do any interiors. It's literally just like they drew on like a squared piece of paper the whole floor plan and how and the size of the lot pretty much, which is helpful. But roofing is still my biggest weakness. I hate roofing. We all hate roofing. I've tried roofing, and it's not my favorite thing to do. When we get to the roofing, you'll see why I hate roofing. So yeah, um, where I am currently right now, we're in the middle of a heat wave. So it is going balls hot recently, and ugh. I'm gonna say this, um, I think ever since, please do not quote me wrong on this, I'm going to say roughly when they kind of released the debug, like the show live edit debug sort of thing. It has made all of our, all of the simmers, I think, so damn happy to have because like, yeah, of course it'll be so good to like be able to sort of, you know, find ourselves some like the live mode edit object so we can like do free landscaping and most of the stuff is really good now of course some of the stuff yeah um it's a bit old we really don't see as much um something like the older packs like get to work um get together base game all of them they're pretty much nearly the damn same and also with um, um city living because the way it looks, um, pretty much compared, they use the same assets. They really don't make any newer assets, pretty much, and that's why it's kind of a bit tricky sometimes when you are, you know, getting to the point of like, okay, I want things around the same. Me, I think after get, say, living, pretty much definitely is where we were able to kind of have. Um, a big new thing, like getting lots more of like newer, newer stuff that we could use. Um, as you can see, I am trying my best to uh, make this sort of like a bit more older, but give the outside a bit more of a fun, funky twist to it. I did try to use mostly stuff from, again, base game, My Wedding Stories, and Vampires, because, you know, that's the best pack, pretty much. I gave many buffet tables. I won, like, you know, for... You know, we can get a champagne, you can get all the stuff. You know, have tables and eat outside. And I want to make sure that this was also functional. I haven't gameplay tested it yet. But I think it is functional because I've been invited to... I, of course, say this on my gallery. I haven't uploaded it yet. Like, I say to my personal gallery, I haven't uploaded it yet so it can be shared as a wedding venue. Um, but I have been invited in some other saves to pretty much um, here, and it works. Now, my Sims game, the Sims getting married, that's the problem with the game, but it should work. It should work. In theory. Um, as you can see, I am trying to go through and fiddle things around, get lots of tables out so people could eat. I did also use Dine Out, I remember, for some of the tables, because it looks... Some of the tables in Dine Out, they look nicer than... They look like also like wedding tables. They do. I remembered. They do look a bit nicer than some of the wedding tables. Dine Out's still a broken pack. I also know I built a restaurant, but I'm not sure if I saved the restaurant. Because <laughs> I'm stupid. And like again, you see me also fiddling around a little bit with uh, the gates and stuff like that. And I am trying my best to make it somewhat symmetrical. <laughs> and yeah, I do believe pretty much I tried to make it functional. Now I kind of like went with the plan of like black and white. And as you can see here, I am also doing my best to pretty much like, you know, add some roses, add some lovely flowers also that are not in debug. Because, you know... Well, make it very lively, at least. Because there are some stuff that... I do own most of the packs, as of recently I own most of the kits. So if I do build stuff with kits... I'm sorry. 
I know they're kind of sell. I wish she brought back stuff packs because I feel like stuff packs they got a little bit more excited when Paranormal came out. But god damn it, EA, give us like kits now and then. I'm pretty sure what happened was this they plan to release kits in 2020, but due to the pandemic, they couldn't. So all their kits they smushed them all up together and they've been releasing like non stop for a long ass time dear god we do get annoyed sometimes it is sometimes very annoying with the kits i know this we all know this but i think because of pandemic it screwed up a lot of things i also do think that sometimes some of the budget is somewhat not spread nicely amongst the other things my wedding stories, I'm looking at you, I think they did not have a budget with you. I believe they pretty much were told, make a wedding pack, and then the pandemic hit, and they kind of may have had to pause a little bit on making the pack, which is why I think the world pack, I think they may have probably started making it when the pandemic hit. I think they made my wedding stories probably before. That's why um, the pen, that's why I think werewolves works a lot better than my wedding stories in the early same year. They probably started, if I had to guess, the my wedding stories um probably February of twenty twenty. Cause it does take time to make expansion packs, it does take time to make um game packs and stuff packs. Well if they ever show up again. And kits. Kits take less time, of course. But um I do believe they started with my wedding stories probably right before pandemic really hit, I do think that werewolves um, came a little bit after, during the pandemic where people were already getting used to working at home. I'm not the developer, but from what I roughly know about things being developed, that's, that's probably correct. Because like making a game, updating a game, it does take time. And also EA is on a budget pretty much when they are you know, making stuff. Well, Sim Steam, and I do think they wanted to do more, but they were kind of stuck with what they had and what they could do. I did get some stuff from like expansion packs that gave like this gothy style. And yeah, I did make everything CC free, and yeah. And of course, we're doing the kitchen last uh, because I am me, and uh, kitchens are not my favorite thing to do. When it comes to uh, making stuff, as you all can tell, we're getting, I think, close to the end game. Pretty much of me finishing everything off and maybe uploading this soon to the gallery. And well, as you can see. All right, guys. I want to thank you for watching the video, and see you next time. Bye bye.